Hey, how are you, Addison first graders? Uh, I'm back with a little bit of math for you guys. Um, hope everyone's doing well. If you do not have a piece of paper and pencil in front of you or a notebook or something like that, go get it now because um, you're going to have to do a lot of writing during this math time today. Okay, so you're going to need a lot of space. Again, if you don't have a pencil and paper, go ahead and get it now. I'll pause the video. Uh, if you do, we're going to go ahead and get started with some math fluency drills in three, two, one and zero. Uh, we're going to start with happy counting today, uh, but I don't think we need to go by ones anymore, so we're going to go straight into tens. I'm at zero and we're counting by tens. Go ahead and do it with me. Just pretend like you're speaking right to me, okay? I'm at zero. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Pause there. Let's go back down. We're at 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, pause there, let's go back up a little faster, I'm at 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, let's go back down real fast, we're at 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. Nice job, first grade. Uh, we're also going to do happy counting uh, by tens, except this time I'm just going to start at a single digit. Okay, it's not going to be 10, 20, 30, 40. It's going to be a little bit harder this time. I'm going to start at the number five. Okay, and let's count on by tens, starting at five. Okay, so I'm at five, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65. Pause. Let's go back down. I'm at 65, 55. 45, 35, 25, 15, 5, 0. Pause there. We're going to do it again, except this time I'm not going to say anything. You're just going to keep track in your head, and then I'll say the answer uh, at the end, okay? Let's start at the number um, 15. Okay, we're at 15. Pause there. You should be at 35, okay? I was kind of saying the numbers in my mouth. You're at 35, okay? Nice job, guys. Um, next activity is I'm going to give you a bunch of numbers. I'm going to give you all just four numbers to start. And you're going to have to take those numbers and rearrange them in order from least to greatest, okay? From the smallest to the biggest, okay? Those numbers are 10, 8, 14, and 12. So on your paper, you're going to uh, write these numbers in order, in a line, from least to greatest, from the smallest number to the biggest number. So you can take five seconds to do it now. If you need a little bit more time, you can pause the video. From least to greatest. I'll tell you the answer here. You should have 8, 10, 12, and 14. Okay? You start at the least number here, 8, the smallest number. You get to 10, 12, and 14. 14 is the greatest number you see there, the biggest number. Okay? All right. Take these same numbers again, 10, 8, 14, and 12. And maybe right below where you did your last uh, line of numbers, write a different line of numbers. Now, these four numbers, but from greatest to least. So the biggest number to the smallest number. Go ahead and write those numbers in order now. If you need more time as always, go ahead and pause the video and I'll tell you the answers in three, two, and one. You should have started with 14, then 12, and 10, and then eight. Okay, again, because 14 is the greatest number here and eight is the least, okay, or the smallest number. Nice job, guys. All right. Next activity, I'm going to need my whiteboard for this one. I'm going to write kind of like a number line of numbers, except I'm going to skip a few lines. I'm going to skip a few numbers. You're going to have to fill them in for me. So let's start with 25, 26, blank, blank, blank. All right. So you see my board here. On your piece of paper, your whiteboard in front of you, I want you to go ahead and write what I wrote and then fill in the missing numbers. So 25, 26, blank, blank.
blank 29 blank. You got to figure out what those missing numbers are. Do it quickly. If you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. And I'll go ahead and fill in the answers here. We start at 25. One more than 25 is 26. One more than 26 is 27. One more than 27 is 28. Sorry, it's a little crooked. We have 29, and then we know what comes after 29 is 30. Okay, so you should oops, you should have 30 there at the end. Okay, let's do one more. I'll erase my board. This one's going to be a little bit harder. And I'll show you why. Okay, now I have a blank first, then 13, blank, 15, blank, and then another blank, okay? Go ahead and try to figure this out on your own first, and then I'll go ahead and explain you how I would solve this. If you need more time, go ahead and pause your video, and I'll go over the answers in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, so these are kind of tricky. Okay, I could do this a couple of different ways. All right, I see this blank first because anytime I read, I'm always reading from left to right, this way to this way. In my head, I know that I'm looking at this 13 and I know that the number 12 is one less than 13. If I'm going backwards on my number line and I'm taking away one, I know that the number 12 is one less than 13, okay? I could also start at a number, the 13 or the 15, and count on first. It's easier for me sometimes to count on, to count higher, than it is to count back. So I could start at this 13, think in my head, 13, 14, just like I'm counting on, and then the 15, 16, 17, okay? So I could fill in those. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then when I'm there, it's going to be a lot easy for me to count back, to count down, to figure out this number. So I could start with 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, and then 12, okay? And that's how I could get that 12, okay? If you guys want to make some of these up at home and do them at home for practice with different numbers or bigger numbers or something like that, go ahead. You could always do it by twos or by fives or by tens. Um, and make it as easy or hard as you guys want on yourselves, okay? All right, next activity. Um, we did this in school a little bit before we left, uh, but I don't think I've done this in any of the previous videos left uh, or I've already posted. Um, so for this exercise, we're gonna be practicing greater than and less than, okay? Remember, the greater than or less than symbols look like this and like this. And you guys remember that these mouths, these little mouths, always eat the bigger number or the greater number, okay? Think about how hungry you get when you haven't eaten breakfast yet or lunch or dinner. You always want to eat a little bit more, okay? You want to eat the bigger number. I'm going to put two uh, numbers on my board. As I do that, you can go ahead and write those two numbers on your board or on your paper at home. And then you can figure out which way you want to put the greater than symbol or the less than symbol to figure out which number is greater and which number is less, okay? All right, so if I put the number 21, and then how about I put the number 30 over here, okay? So go ahead in your paper, write the number 21 and the number 30, and draw a greater than or less than symbol, and make sure that math is eating the bigger number. If you need more time, pause the video. I know the number 21 is two tens and one one. I know the number 30 is three tens. I know that three tens is bigger or has a greater value than two tens and one one. I know that 30 is a bigger number than 21. So I'm going to draw this greater than symbol so that the mouth is eating the 30, okay? And when I read this though, I could read this as 30 is greater than 21 or I could read this as 21 is less than 30, okay? Let's do another one. How about nine and hmm, six?
Okay, if you need more time, pause the video. Guys, I know that nine is bigger than six. I know it's a greater number than six. So I'm gonna draw the greater than symbol facing the nine, the mouth eating the nine. And I would read this as nine is greater than six, okay? We're gonna do this one more time, except I'm gonna uh, mix it up on you guys a little bit and make it a little extra hard, okay? All right, how about the number 34 over here? And then how about over here, instead of an actual number, I'm just going to write four tens, okay? And in the middle here, you guys need to figure out if you're putting the greater than symbol or the less than symbol, and which number is less and which number is greater. This can be a little challenging. If you need a little bit more time, you can take that time now. Um, I could also give you hints, and remember quick tens, if you're a little stuck on it, if you don't know exactly what four tens is, you can draw your quick tens or just count four tens on your fingers. All right, guys, I'm going to reveal the answer in three, in two, in one, and zero, okay? I know that 34 is three tens, one, two, three, three tens, 10, 20, 30, and four ones. Okay, over here is just four tens. So I'm going to draw my four tens, 10. 20, 30, 40, okay? 40 is a bigger number or greater number than 34. Four tens is bigger than three tens and four ones. So I'm gonna draw my greater than symbol facing the four tens. And this could read that 34 is less than four tens or that four tens is greater than 34. Nice job, guys. Um, Again, this is another activity that you guys can do at home by yourselves. You can do it with your siblings. You can make them up on your own with your parents. Um, and again, how easy and hard that you guys want to do it. Okay. Um, speaking of quick tens, I want to practice a little bit of quick tens for you, uh, with you guys. I'm going to write a two-digit number on my board. Um, and then we're going to practice writing, just drawing the quick tens and ones that go along with that number. Okay. Just an example. If I write the number 65, okay, I know that 65 is six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and five ones. Okay, that's all I'm doing for this little exercise right here. So go ahead and take the number 54 and draw your quick tens for 54. I'll show you how I did it in just a second. If you need more time, go ahead and pause that video. And I'll show you the answer in three, in two, one. So the five tens, guys, one, two, three, four, five. I know that 50 is five tens because 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then 54, I know that 54 has four one, so I'm drawing my four ones, okay? That's all you gotta do for that one. Let's do one more. How about the number 20? And don't let me trick you here, guys. If you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. You just might. And I'll reveal the answer in three, two, one, and zero. Guys, do not let this number trick you. Don't let these numbers trick you, okay? You're too smart for this. The number 20 in the tens place is a two. So I know that there are two tens in 20. One, two, or 10, 20, okay? But then I'm thinking how many ones might be in that number 20? Guys, there's zero. There aren't any ones. There's no one, so there's nothing there. All you needed to do was draw those two tens for 20. Okay? 10, 20. Just like that. Perfect. I'll erase that. And now we get into kind of the fun stuff of math today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you a few equations on my whiteboard. Um, pause the video when, after I give you, I'm going to give you three equations on my whiteboard, okay? After I do that, pause the video. Take all the time you need to solve them. Um, you can solve them by counting on, 
can solve them by drawing quick tens. Um, just remember, look at that plus sign or minus sign if you're drawing more quick tens or you're taking quick tens away. Okay. The first equation is 11 plus 8 equals. The next one is 27 plus 5. It'll be a tricky one. And the last one, we'll do a big subtraction. We'll have about 40 take away 30. Okay. Um, all of these are a little tricky for their own reason. So take your time. Think about it. Um, pause the video once you see these equations. So you should just pause my face right now with these equations. Take your time and solve them. And then when you're ready, go ahead and press play. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how I did these equations in three, in two, one, and zero. If you're not quite ready yet, again, pause that video. Okay, guys, I'm going to do it with the different colors because you can see exactly what I did. Okay, for 11 plus 8, you could have solved it uh, doing a few different things. The first thing you could have done is just draw 11 circles draw eight circles and add them all up to see what total amount of circles you guys had um, and you would have gotten the answer 19 okay uh, you could have also started at 11 and just counted on eight from there okay you start at the bigger number 11 is bigger and you can count on eight you can be 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and get to 19 all right you could also break the 11 up into a 10 and a 1 because it's always easier to add and subtract from a 10, okay? So you could take this 11, make it a 10, and a 1, because I know that 10, 1 is 11. You could take 10 plus 8. 10, 8 is 18, and then add the 1. 18 plus 1 equals 19. So 11 plus 8 equals 19, okay? Cool, guys. Uh, next equation, 27 plus 5. This one can get a little bit tricky because it's a two-digit number and then just a one-digit number there. You could start on 27 and count on 5. Watch how I do that. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay? And get the answer, 32. Sorry, guys, my handwriting is very good right now. No, it never is. All right. Uh, another way I could do that is split this 27 into uh, tens and a one, okay? Tens and ones, and let me show you how that is in just a second. 27, I could split that up into a 20 and a seven, okay? Because 27 is a 20 and a seven, okay? I could then add the 20 and five, 25 to get to 25, I could also add the ones, the seven and the five, because sometimes it's a little bit easier to add the ones and then go from there. Okay. I could have also drawn quick tens. 27. I know 27 has two tens in it. 10, 20, and then seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're adding, so I know I need to draw five more ones. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this gets a little bit tricky here. I see my seven ones, and see how I also drew it in little five groups? So I can tell how many more I need to make it 10. It's always easier to make it 10. I know I need three more ones here to make another 10. So I'm going to go ahead and circle these seven ones and circle three over here to make it 10. Now let's think about how many tens we have. We have one 10, two 10s, and then we have a third 10 right here, three 10s, 10, 20, 30. But we're not quite done because we still have these two ones left over. So we add 30 plus two equals that 32 right there. Okay, awesome job. 40 take away 30, um, you could do 4 take away 3 equals 1, but you know it's 10, so you could say 10. Uh, you could start at 40 and count down uh, 3 tens or by 30. Um, the easiest way to do this, guys, is draw 4 uh, tens because 40 is just 4 tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. 1, 2, 
three, four. Are there any ones in 40? No, there's no ones in 40 because it's four and a zero. Four in the tens place, zero in the ones place. Um, however, I'm looking at this sign and I see it's a takeaway, okay? So I'm not drawing three more tens for 30. I'm actually gonna take away those three tens for 30. So I'm gonna take away one 10 here, another 10, and my last 10. You could erase it. If you wanna just cross it on your paper, that's also fine. And then I'm thinking how much am I left with? Is that a one or is that a 10? I know it's a 10. So 40 take away 30 equals 10. Okay, just like that, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, it's okay if some of these were a little tricky for you. These are hard problems. Um, but um, but just know if you can do these, then you're on uh, good standing, you're good to go. Um, and if you can't, just keep practicing with it. Um, use those lessons on CERN, keep watching these videos. Uh, maybe make your own equations for your siblings, for your parents to do by yourself. Um, and keep practicing taking apart two digit numbers into tens and ones and drawing your quick tens because that's gonna make things so much easier for you guys. Um, as always, uh, for my beautiful butterflies anyway, have your parents email me, call me anytime if you want to practice these one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I am happy to help. Um, hope you liked the video, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.